We definitely have some borders that need to get cleaned up today, and I think we are going to get that done in a good order here. Uh, we also need to attack a couple more guys over here, and this will allow us to probably kick the Nizarids out of uh, Arabia. I think that is a good move, but welcome back, everybody, to the Hellenic Restoration here in Antebellum. Hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign, because I, as always, have been having a very fun time with it. <laughs> Lots of uh, crazy shenanigans we've been getting into on uh, the episodes of this, of this uh, campaign. And uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying it as much as I have. I will always take mercantilism. Mercantilism is just very strong. It gives you provincial trade power. Looks like mine is actually quite low from all the uh, the loans I've been taking. But uh, until the end of the game, we get domestic trade power. 10%. And a level 1 center of trade will be, oh, will be increased in Nicaea. Is it already a level 3? No, it is not. So we'll get that for free. Very good. Very nice. So that is level three, and that is level three as well. Not bad at all. Now, Hellenic Empire has at least 51% trade power in Alexandria. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be easier said than done. However, we do have some light ships. Perhaps protecting in Alexandria would be appropriate. That'll take us from 93.5 up to what, like 95 ish? 98. Really? Okay, well. What is our... Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's start building those. Obviously, we're going to have to repay our loans, but I'm in no rush for that. That is fine with me. Let's get over here and occupy you guys. Get you guys over here as well. I don't care about the manpower. That means nothing to me. My subjects are going to come over here. Look at that. Oh, baby. Egypt with no morale. Stack wiping them. True, truly le legends. Uh, I want to keep the monarchists in power. I hate to lose trade efficiency, but um, I can't be asked. There you go. Macadon will handle that. And just like that, we'll be able to full annex everybody in this war. Not bad, right? So let's begin attacking these guys. Nizarids have a truce for how long? Not long. Not long. 13. So I think I will actually attack them directly, and then I'll just separate piece these guys. That sounds more appropriate. What was the exact date here? Uh, hover over this one. November of 13. So, reasonable. Let us full annex everybody in this war. There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh-huh. I will go ahead and we'll let the Zoroastrians live. And I will add you guys there. Tehran is now part of our trade company. Let's upgrade you. And just like that... Look at this. 100 ducats in our node. We were, we were collecting 118 in the last episode. Now we're up to 131. The snowball is very, very real. Extremely real. Uh, we need to core everything, of course, though. So Don't forget to core. It's kind of important. Uh, let's get you guys over here in Tehran and suppress rebels from there. But the borders are cleaning up in Persia. I like this. I don't care about the traders complaining. Now, I probably should save up my money and uh, get that trade company. Last I looked, it was about 2,500 or so that we were going to need in order to buy that. So maybe we'll do it. Uh, maybe we won't. I don't know. If I don't, it's not really a big deal. It doesn't really hurt us to not do it. But um, we definitely need to get a, get this 60 here. So let's see here. We still got plenty of uh, time. So let's put you guys on trade power. Let's see here. Let's, um, hmm, yeah, let's actually dev this province here, since it's in my home node, home state, rather, and it's cheap, reason being, I wanted to get that crown land up over 60, so we get that yearly absolutism, and now we will actually start getting passive income or passive growth on that, which is great. We're collecting 136 ducats a month, which is absolutely insane. And now we're just waiting until I think it is November and this truce is up with the Nizards. We will attack them. Uh, missionary strength, not so useful. Inflation, not so useful. National unrest, eh. Eh. I think we can do something a little bit better than that. Let's see here. Splendor, huh? Yeah, I definitely will take the Splendor. Speaking of, I should probably take a look at what we have coming in. Three trade companies. So we have this one. Do we have anything for this age? It doesn't look like we do. Latin Empire gets one, but we do not. Okay. 
Okay. So, potential for a large army, possibly. Multicultural nation. We could do. We just need 100 Diplo, which we can do that. And then, um, centers for kids who can't read good. We can definitely do that. So, let's get you guys built up over here. That is five. Six. I'll just build them in all the provinces over here, just in case I need to develop a little bit. 20% uh, dev cost is very, very strong. And that will get us a little bit of extra splendor. And get us up to uh, six and a half. So does the mausoleum... Man. We really do need to get that. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to revoke that, uh, that thing there. Their loyalty... Or their... Their stuff is way too high for now. Let's see here. Let's uh, get rid of strong duchies. No, I need that. We're going to keep strong duchies. We'll get rid of supremacy over the crown, though. Yep. That's fine. Get rid of religious culture, I think. Yeah, that's fine. So that, that raises that up to 39. So as long as we've got some room to grow, that's all that really matters to me. Uh, and the loans don't matter nearly as much because they are costing us very little in, in the matter of interest right now. So we are su subsidizing a couple of our subjects as well. We're subsidizing Egypt, right. How is Egypt doing militarily? They're up to 11. Dang, man. Why are they... Their autonomy is so high, bro. Max of 26,000. So they are getting there. I don't think I really need to subsidize them anymore, but I'll continue to just to make sure that we're not, um, you know... We're able to make this happen. So, let's see here. These guys... Let's improve relations with a couple of these guys over here. Just to make sure that we are... Um, able to maybe... Maybe get those from them. I would love to get a province from one of these guys. Rebel Uprising. Where are we at? Persian Separatists. Nothing I can do about them. These guys I will put down though. We want to try to get our absolutism up as quickly as possible. Obviously, we don't want to fall behind on mill tech, but this mill tech is not that useful either. It's just a couple of extra pips on my uh, cannons, which, you know, is useful, but it's not that important. Combat width, who cares? And improved flanking range, who who cares at all? So we're good with that stuff. Um, first, circumcision. Very cool. Just kidding. I know. I know. I know. Circumnavigation, but it's funnier if you say circumcision, right? All right. So... All right, let's see here. These guys are losing a war now, apparently. Let's recall you guys. Reformed Zealots. Looks like they're handled already. Very good. I really need to buy a, um, a province here if I can. Charter a trade company. Corn everything up. I still need to make sure I core everything. That would be uh, important. So, they are willing to sell it to me for what? 27.9. That's reasonable. I mean, that is expensive, but um, I think I'm willing to press the button to do it, right? There we go. Very expensive. That will get this guy, this one done here, which will give me some uh, goods produced in that one province. Very good. Oh, till the end of the game, really? Interesting. Okay. Cool. I actually haven't seen that one before. Doesn't matter. None, of, Literally none of it is getting steered out for the most part. Yeah, literally zero towards the Cape of Good Hope. What else do we have here? This is going towards Bengal. Yeah, so there's... <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> These guys are still my ally, which is great. I should probably improve relations with them instead now. Make sure to keep them nice and friendly with me. I will royal marry you as well. Even though you are Shia scum. I'm role-playing. I don't actually care. Sometimes people get upset when I say stuff like that, you know? I don't mean to hurt anybody. I'm a good old boy. All right, let's see here. Let's accept some Kurdish culture here. And that will get us, look at that. Eight and a half splendor a month. Very solid. I suppose we could start paying off these loans now. How far off are we from those buildings finishing up? So they'll be done here later this year. Take a look. We're at 109.7, collecting 148. That is so stupid. That is so stupid, man. This is fine. 108, man. Now it's up to... Did some of them finish? No. 
So we're at 101.4, collecting 150, all right? 109, so the numbers are fluctuating quite heavily. Once those buildings finish up, 122.3, collecting 165. Isn't that insane? Isn't that actually insane because those buildings finished up? Look at that. Now, I mean, it doesn't hurt us to build more of them even, but um, like considering how low the the value of these provinces is, I don't really care. So it's like, mm, eh, I could worry about it, but I'm not really too worried about it. I would rather pay off my loans for one. Let's repay our loans. We're collecting 165 balance. Generally, and I know this was uh, words from a Roomba. Oh, wow, even more now, 165. Um, Arumba always said that he'd like to keep his balance at least 50% of his income. Um, safe to say we are well over that because 50% would be what? Um, 50, 150 something, 156 and a half. So yeah, we are well over 50%. So very solid. Let's, um, we might as well spam out some of these buildings. Yeah, we can build three of them a month. So that's really solid. I don't care about those rebels. I cannot afford to convert these guys. Also, did these guys get forced converted? I cannot do it because as long as they are disloyal, I've, I've keep people keep asking me. Plus 100 liberty desire is really, really hard to overcome, right? Unless I was able to like do something very, you know, you know, put them into a lot of debt and then get them up or something like that, maybe. But even then. Let's think about what our next idea group will be. Trade. It's going to be trade. It has to be trade. So let's start saving up our Diplomana. Idea cost. Very good. This is a really solid uh, uh, leader here. Uh, admin tech. Sure. Admin mana, rather. Let's switch you over to... Mm hmm. Let's up you. I mean, clearly we can afford it. I don't mind. Piedmontese, huh? Very cool. The monthly splendor is super useful. Let's get you up to a level that that level as well. I think I'm going to get these guys upgraded as well. Start uh, worrying about that. Obviously, we want to repay our loans as well. There's so many things that we want to be putting money onto. Foreign spy detection, spy network, but we gain one stab. Keep us up at level three stab. Who doesn't love it? I know I certainly do. I certainly, certainly do. All right. Yeah, it is fluctuating quite a bit, our income here. That's okay. Fort maintenance. All right, let's turn off our forts and see see how that handles that. And what's our absolutism up to now? Because I guarantee you it's looking good. Also, we need to attack these guys. I said I was going to and then I forgot. Will co-belligerent be a pass? Anisa will also get co-belligerented. They'll call in Aiden who will not join and Farce who will. Co-belligerent Farce? Nah, this is fine. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, man. Let's go. Who's this gray guy over here? Is that Alania? It is. These guys should handle that. Uh, let's see here. Do I have another army somewhere? This Indian army, I think, can uh, be spared to come over there. So that'll allow us to annex all of this, this, and this. And uh, I don't really care about anything down here. So none of that really matters to me. Just Afghanistan is over. So we'll have to attack them soon as well. No big deal, though. My subjects should get down there, start attacking. Yeah, they'll handle their capital, which is great. Let's get uh, another general on you. Five maneuver is pretty solid. I'll take that anytime. Let's get up here and wipe you guys out. Easy peasy. I'd like you say no to that uh, annexation, huh? And uh, I think we'll have these guys just head back over and suppress rebels. The fort will handle that fort. Or the fort will handle that occupation, rather. Not the fort, right? The fort will handle the fort will handle the fort. Don't you know? All right, let's have you guys suppress down here. Very good. These guys are going to split, split, split. Let's have these guys head over here. Ptolemaeus. Uh, oh, what is that name? Acropolitis. Greek names are absolutely insane. <laughs> they are so crazy for me. It is such a foreign language for me. All right. Um, so I will annex everything I can over here. And then we're probably going to have to separate piece out at least one of these guys. Yeah, okay. So let's just separate piece out Beapas. Say E means nothing to me. 
And I also separate piece out farce. Very good. Let's add those guys to the trade companies as well, of course. Or you up. That gives us this one here, which gives us yearly prestige and Republican tradi or <laughs> Republican tradition. Uh, Diplo rep for the rest of the game. Uh, while we have at least 75% trade power in the Persian node, all silk provinces in Persia will receive two bonus production, which we do have 71%. So let's go ahead and click that button there. It gives us more silk, which is incredible. Right. Now, we need to make sure that we have these silk provinces built up here, which apparently we don't. Goodness gracious. Look how much trade power tra or trade money we're missing out on up here. Right. Very good. T, huh? Interesting. I'll do that. Sounds good. Gems, of course. Cloth, of course. What about this one? Copper is very solid as well. Let's get rid of the... Uh... Oh, it's a weapons manufacturer. Already got one. Very good. Cool, cool, cool. Do I have one in Hormuz? We do not. Get those gems, man. Why wouldn't we? Yep. Look at that. So you can take a look at how much of the world's gems we produce. We produce, in just these two provinces alone, we produce two of five. So about 1% of the world's gems just in these two provinces. Over here, we produce about another, you know, little bit, little bit. So we produce a large chunk of the world's gems. Right here, remember, we, we produce about a little less than 10, about 8% of the world's gems just in Constantinople. Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts indeed. But yep, now we just need to get these guys occupied. We have their capital, so it's just a matter of time. Let's have you guys siege these guys down over here. Apparently this army is, uh, I don't know what this little six stack is doing here. Nope. I refuse to lose that much money. You can kiss my butt. Take this province back. Hopefully they kill that army there. Yes, thank you. Very good. Sieging everybody down. All right, cool. So now, yeah, now we just need to sit here and wait on this Shamar province here. I don't care about the autonomy there. Oh, they took their, their capital back, which is going to be a problem. That's fine. We'll just head and run over there, siege it down, and uh, maybe we won't even need it. Let's see here. Aha! <laughs> Let the war exhaustion stack up and we'll actually be able to peace out here. So I don't even need to worry about this. Let's have these guys on a province where they will not be taking a ton of attrition here. Coastal desert. Coastal desert. Mm. Let's have you guys head back over this way. Mogistan, I suppose. And we're going to be attacking Afghanistan here very quickly. Uh, ideally, we're going to be getting our absolutism up a little bit more. We're pretty close to being able to... Uh, to select this one this yearly absolutism is very useful potential for a large army i think we could push for that let's just go ahead and um yeah let's go ahead and build these up this is fine and that will raise my force limit by about eh, 25 so a couple more buildings we'll be able to do that plus it's nice to have a little bit of extra force limit why not you know Very solid. There we go. Goodbye. Look at that. Goodness gracious. I love it. All right. So let's make sure we're adding all of you and all of you. Incredible. Dun, 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 dun. Making 178, 171 ducats per month, 119 ducats of value in our node, 30 ducats a month more than anywhere else in the world. I love that so much. And we're going to continue to build a few more of these guys. Now, there's a mission here for this one, right? Regimental camps and barracks. So the issue is, is I can't really be asked to micro that. Like, that's kind of a lot of micro to figure out exactly which provinces I need them in, you know? But I will trade company all this, uh, which will help us get a little bit more trade value here. Because there's quite a bit of trade value that is being lost over there. All right. Now, let's wait a couple of months here. Yeah, this is fine. Now... How long until this goes down? February of 20. I'll be able to 
probably yoink, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to take away um, any of these guys' things. So this is actually giving them, what, five influence as well. So we'll be able to handle that. Macedonia still being an annoying little crybaby weenie. Spend a little prestige. It's fine. It means nothing to me. Let's build the last little chunk of these guys here. And that should get us over the limit. Uh, maybe not, actually. It's going to be pretty close. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I think we need to build a few more. We'll see. I just want the splendor. That's the main thing. The, the sooner we get these three, the better. Right. You know what? If I can get it, I'm actually tempted to take the, uh, the suppression one first because the cost of, um, whatever, the cost of putting down rebels may end up being more useful for us. Gonna have some rebels over here. Very good. I will take that tech here in a few months. No big deal. Uh, come on, man. I don't want to lose Diplo, so I'm trying to just... You know, take it to the last second here. But it looks like I keep having admin issues. <laughs> keep conquering more land. Oh, no. All right. Let's see here. We're super close. Still have a few more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it should put us over the 200. Potential for a large army. And then I'll be able to get this guy very quickly in a couple of months here. Hopefully those uh, Mazdaran zealots don't don't fire yet. That would be preferred. Very good. We'll be able to take these techs. Okay. Probably not mill though. I don't care about mill tech. But uh, now we've got this one. Harsh treatment costs 50%. Take a look. 30 now. Very solid. The real cheap ones are... Even less than that. Oh, shoot. That's still expensive. These ones are only 20. So see what I'm talking about? This is fine still. Yep. Any of these like real low ones, I will gladly pay a little bit of mana. There we go. Not bad though. That that just brought up to got us up to 35. So now we need to yoink anything that is giving them a lot. So this one is 10 max absolutism. So let's go with that one. It's also giving them 10 influence. Now we need to be at peace. Money. Yes, please. I like money. <laughs> let's pay off the rest of our loans. And just like that, we're in the green again. And we're making 170 ducats a month. You can't beat it, friends. You really, really can't beat it. Tunis is raiding us still. Oh, no. Anyways, let's uh, build these guys here. More production efficiency just means more money. Why not? You know, that that's the thing about building buildings is uh, it really lets you lean into that tall play quite heavily. And uh, also, we need to be upgrading these trade things, trade guys over here, because I do have quite a few provinces over here in the trade company that need to be uh upgraded here so let's add you as well and we need to build these guys here let's uh do this very good and we just need to build them as many of them as we can and as many provinces in this node as we can because we don't have the main you know valuable parts of it so it was 10 and 10 so we've already steered quite a bit or changed that each of these gives each province four trade value in these in this node, which is really solid. So that's probably going to go, yeah, even below nine now. So that's more value that we are steering into our home node, which means we're collecting more. So that's that's why it's in, you're investing. You know, you spend the money, but you make it back in the long term. That's the main goal. That is what like trade in EU4 is all about, honestly. Short short term spends, expenses, long term gains. That's what it's all about. You know. We also get another merchant, which is great. Um, let's steer from over here. Aiden. So let's see. That actually is probably going to be quite a, quite substantial. 172, and we should go up to like 178, 180? 175. Okay. That's still better. Yeah. If we wanted to, we could put some trade, uh, 
people protecting trade down there. Let's do one dev click here. Yas has left our coalition. Very good. Very intelligent of you. Suppressing rebels like you do. I'm curious how much war participation I have. I have 1%. All me, baby. All me. Constant aggression. Border friction on Alania. It's unfortunate because I only border them like two times. Two provinces, so. Not uh, not the best CB to have. Now, Hormuz has left our coalition as well. I would love to get a little more trade power from these guys. But last, if you're enjoying the campaign, please do make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video. If you have not already, subscribe, ding the bell. Join the Discord. Hey, look at that. Take a look at this. Popularization of silk fabrics. This is going to go from 128. The price is going to go up to... 140 something, I bet. Or like 133. Yes, 133 and a half. And look how much trade power is still leaking out of here. Isn't that crazy? That's actually insane. Uh, let me make sure. Am I taking their trade power? I am. Dang, bro. That's a lot of trade that's being lost. <laughs> Man, either way. Uh, but yeah, we are going to take admin tech here. And as I said before, if you haven't already, consider following me on uh, my second channel, Chubert. Link is in the description. There's going to be some edited content. Like I said in the last episode or a couple of episodes ago, I think we're going to be doing some Anbinar over there. I've been getting a lot of people asking about it. So if you're interested in some Anbinar, make sure you check that out. Now, this first idea, 186, should take us up to 190-something. 193. Heck yeah, man. Look at that. Over 200 ducats a month. Well over 50% of our income is coming in. Borders look beautiful. That's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.